They come in every day, dozens of them, maybe hundreds. Alors, comme un mystère, uh... On our computers, our mobiles, social networks. Photos and videos that amaze and astound. An alligator. They even have an alligator like this. But how do you know where they come from? How do you know what's true and what's fake? Every image has a context, where and when it was shot. Verifying that context is what we call fact-checking. We're going to show you some tips and techniques that will allow you to verify images yourself. It's like detective work. Some people share fake images in order to promote their own beliefs and ideas. Take a look at this photo. This person published the photo in order to criticise a type of person who, according to him, would worry about the plight of foreign migrants and buy a tote bag that says, Refugees Welcome, but who would walk past a homeless person from her own country without even noticing they exist. First things first, let's have a look at the profile of the person who posted it. He's French. He describes himself as a patriot. And he's openly Islamophobic. You can check suspicious photos on your phone. You need to do what's called a reverse image search. It can take as little as 30 seconds. Download the photo you want to verify, then open your browser and go to tinai.com. Upload the photo to tinai, and you'll get a list of other places it's been published online. In this case, the first result gives us our answer. It's the original photograph, and there's no refugees welcome on the bag. So it's been photoshopped. Every time something major happens in the news, think about using this technique so that you don't end up sharing false information. In August 2019, a huge number of fires raged across the Amazon in Brazil. In the photos being shared on social media, there were some photos that were old or simply false. A reverse image search shows you that this photo was taken in the Amazon, but it was taken in 1989. And this photo of a charred rabbit wasn't taken in the Amazon, but in Malibu in the US in 2018. You can even do a search on just one part of a photo. Now take a look at this dramatic picture on Instagram, apparently showing fires in Australia. If you focus on the koala, you'll find its original context, safe and sound in a tree. It's the same koala, but inverted right to left. You can track down the other elements in the photo too. The girl, her mask, and the smoke. Photos are not always what they seem. The key is to find them in their original context. In January 2020, Iranian General Qasem Soleimani was killed in a US airstrike in Iraq. Afterwards, a Turkish television channel broadcast this video. Sevgili seyirciler, sıcak bir gelişmeye aktaralım. İranlı General Süleymaniye'nin, yani Kasım Süleymaniye'nin öldürülme anına ilişkin görüntüleri şu anda ekranlara getiriyoruz. Now look closely. On the top right hand side, it says something in English. If you type that sentence into a search engine, you can find out where the video comes from. It's actually an extract from a video game for mobile. AC-130 Gunship Simulator. And if we look up the game on YouTube, we can find exactly the same video. Photos and videos often contain visual clues that can help you find the original context. An alligator. They even have an alligator like this. So they call it alligator sniping photo, and also they have the world. Web users around the world have been talking about the discovery of a new species, the Wigu. But take a look down at the bottom. There's a logo. It's TikTok, an app that makes it easy to edit short videos and share them with your friends. Using the username, you can find the video they posted. On the right, there's a musical note indicating that sound has been added to the video. Even if the original poster meant it as an innocent joke, the video was taken out of its context and used to spread something that's fake. straight out of an action film. 
This clip apparently shows an assassination attempt on a Saudi Arabian prince. There's something odd in the video. The crowd watches the scene calmly, and no one runs away. We can find out where this video comes from using a free online tool called Invid. Click on the button Keyframes, then copy the URL of your video and paste it here. It'll give you a series of screen captures from the video. When you click on them, you can see where and when the video has been posted before. We found our video in this article, which tells us that the scene is actually a military training exercise in Kuwait. But sometimes it's even easier to find where a video comes from. So was this really a miracle in the French city of Nantes? Well, Google can help. Look at the photo and think of some keywords to describe it. How about car pierced by tree? And there's the answer. The tree was part of an art installation. No special tools, just some keywords and common sense. Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg is a familiar figure around the world. But have you seen this video? Now I have a machine gun, ho, ho, ho. Not sure Greta's lefty friends will be pleased though. Here's another clue for checking things on social networks. Always read the comments. One person wrote that the star of the video is someone called MES, not Greta. MES is Swedish too, and does look a lot like Greta Thunberg. Web users in Brazil apparently stole her video in an attempt to discredit Thunberg. Emmy, however, had locked her account. The video was private and shouldn't have been found in the public domain. So this is fake news with two victims. Lies spread about Greta Thunberg, but also her Swedish doppelganger, whose private video was stolen. The people who produce fake news often count on fear to make it spread. Lots of web users were led to believe that robots like this belong to the Israeli army. Now, humanoid robots do exist. The company Boston Dynamics in the United States regularly publishes videos showing off their latest creations. But let's compare the two videos. This one is spelled Boss Town Dynamics, not Boston Dynamics. That's because the one on the left is a parody made to alert people to the potential dangers of robots. The robot was in fact an actor with special effects added later. It was pretty convincing, enough that a lot of people believed it was real. There may one day be humanoid robots fighting on the battlefield, but not yet. And it's important to separate reality from fiction and not lose control of the facts. As you've seen, you need to develop certain reflexes when you're fact-checking images online. Start with a reverse image search, look carefully for clues in the image itself, use keywords to find the original context, and don't forget to read the comments. The people who make fake news are trying to fool you, so be smart, you can be smarter than they are. And never forget that behind every image, there's one reality. That's what you have to look for if you want to sort the true from the fake.